Hi, my name is Usman, I'm a photographer at Sonda Creative and today we're in Leeds City Centre and I'm joined by one of my fellow writers from F-Stoppers, Annette, who's going to be joining the channel and uh, hopefully this way we can produce even more videos. Yeah. So she's just going to say yeah on this occasion, but that's fine because this is the first video that we're going to be working yeah. together properly on. And uh, in this video we're going to be reviewing and testing the lens baby, the 35mm lens baby. I don't know exactly what the full name is, I can't think of it off the top of my head, but it's a funny name. But I'm just going to call it the lens baby 35mm lens. Yeah. Anyway, we're in Leeds City Centre, we're going to do a little bit of street photography and see what this lens is all about. I'm going to give you the camera first though. <laughs> um, so I'm getting used to this lens now, it's quite nice and wide and uh, 35mm, I usually use it for street photography because it's nice and wide, you can get quite close to subjects, at the same time it's not too long either, so um, I'm starting to enjoy this a little bit more now than, than the first time I got it and I was like, I have no idea how to use this thing. <laughs> Yeah, so first thing, first impressions of the lens, I'd say build quality. Build quality is actually not bad. I mean, it's solid metal. It doesn't feel like a ridiculously premium metal, but it does feel really nice. The um, tilting features are actually really good as well. You can be a little bit precise with where you want the tilting features, but because it's completely flexible in terms of, in terms of how or what direction you've got, you, you're not limited in terms of where you want the tilt feature applied. The thing that I don't like about this lens is the lock mechanism on the back of the on the back of the lens, and it's just not that great. Like, I wish I wish it was like a switch that you know you switch it on and it's completely locked, switch it off and it's completely you know loose, or you have like a switch and like a geared mechanism which allows you to tighten and loosen it, but also the switch completely locks it off. If you know what I mean. I've just completely explained that in the worst way possible. <laughs> but yeah, those are my first impressions of the lens. You know, it's good, but a few minor things that I think could have, could have been improved. So as a company, Lensbaby aren't really known for producing lenses that have the best in terms of image quality or the sharpest optics because that's not what they're interested in. What they really care about are lenses that have character and something that has a certain distinct look. And if that's what you're after, then the Edge 35mm has tons of character. The images that I was producing with it were genuinely things that I probably couldn't produce with other lenses that I have and for that reason I really did enjoy shooting with it. I also really like the fact that the tilt feature on the lens can be can be put in any direction which gives you lots and lots of flexibility when it comes to the depth of field and where the bokeh lands. The issue is that this lens is a little bit pricey. At $450 it is difficult to recommend especially considering the fact that Lensbaby have another lens available the Sol 45mm f3.5 which also has tilt features that can move in any direction. So, Annette, you know, we've been shooting around Leeds today with the lens baby. You've never used the Canon before. No. You've no. never shot with a lens baby before. No. What do you think? I enjoyed it for those odd creative shots, definitely, but it wouldn't be my go-to lens for street photography. I want to be fast and quite discreet when I'm shooting, so... This is like a fun lens you can put on for a few occasions, definitely, but not for every day, not for me. Guess how much it costs? I have absolutely no idea about this, no so idea. I think it's $450. Okay, so that's more than my camera at the minute. Really? That I use for street photography, yeah. Oh yeah, because you use the Fuji... Yeah, I use like old, disheveled Fuji X-Pro one that was second hand, yeah. <laughs> um, okay then, well, in that case, I'm going to take that off you, thank you very much. 
No, I really liked it. I really yeah. liked it. I think that it's it's a very niche lens. It's not a lens I'm going to be using, as, as Annette said, it's not a lens I'm going to be using for um, most of my shoots. But I think that is a place for it if you want to take like odd creative shots. And I love the tilt features. I use tilt shift lenses for my work anyway, so I'm very familiar with how the tilt features work. And I kind of got my head around how, you know, where the plane of focus is going to land as you tilt whichever direction you tilt it. So, on that basis, I'm kind of used to it, and I do like it, but yeah, I think you're right, it is very niche, and at $450, it's a little bit difficult to recommend. I think that some of the other lens baby options that are currently available, I would probably recommend them, like the 45 mil, that's a fantastic one, and much cheaper than this one. Um, but yeah, those, I guess that's how the lens baby performs. Just want to say thank you so much for watching our video please hit the like button please subscribe and uh hope to see you guys in the next one